Friends, good morning and welcome. I'd like to share with you today from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians in chapter 3 and then in verse 17. He writes this, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. It's a short verse. There's some really significant words in there speaking primarily about the Spirit of the Lord and freedom. We as Americans certainly appreciate freedom, as do most people everywhere. When we think of freedom, though, we often think of liberty from rules and regulations, the freedom to do as we choose. And to some degree, we do experience that type of freedom, but freedom is always within limits, isn't it? A freedom without limits would really collapse into anarchy where everybody just does as he or she pleases and we can see the logical outcome of that. So when we speak about freedom in the Lord, we're not speaking about the Lord giving us the liberty to do absolutely anything that we wish. But nonetheless, there is freedom that comes from the Lord and his Holy Spirit, which is absolutely life-changing and life-giving when we speak of freedom as Christians and the Holy Spirit, we rejoice, for instance, in the fact that he brings us freedom from our sin and its consequences. That's not to say that we as Christians never fall short. We do. But we know that in Jesus Christ, we are a new creation and we are free from our sinful nature. It no longer has the final say in our lives because we are redeemed in Jesus Christ. And so in that respect, we are free. We've also been freed in Christ to serve him, free to love him and to love others. Before Christ comes and redeems us and makes us new in himself, that is not possible for us. It is not possible for us to please God in any way without faith. That's what the scripture says. So when we speak about freedom that comes from the spirit of God, it is without doubt, without mistake, a true liberty and freedom. Again, not to do as we please, but to do the things that please him. Freedom to follow him in faith. Freedom to obey him. Freedom to love our neighbors as ourselves. And this is a process also that the Holy Spirit is working in us increasingly. Again, we can do nothing, nothing without the Lord. But with him, with the Spirit of God, we truly have liberty. Let's thank him for that. We thank you, Lord, that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Help us, Lord, to walk out and to live out this freedom that we have by your grace through Jesus, your son. These things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessings to you.